Okay, assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome back in action. This is your brother Abdi Mahamanur, who will be taking for you mathematics of high school. You are wasting time as you can see on board. We have service area of a call, okay? This is what we are going to discuss about today's class. Okay, let's go ahead and see the first example, then we move and see the application part, okay? Now let's see this one. Example 1. Example 1 is saying you're told a solid cone, a solid cone has a base radius of 7 cm and a slant height and a slant height. Slant height of 15 centimeters. Okay. Full stop. You are told to calculate the total surface area. Calculate the total surface area. The total surface area of the cone. Full stop. Now, the question here is, they are also giving us, they are telling us, check by. Check by is equal to 12 of 7, then close the bracket. Now, when you look at this statement now, it is very important to understand what are the requirements when you want to calculate the surface area of a cone. Very, very important, by the way. And what is the nature of a cone? Just understand. Then, grammatically, how does it look like? Those are the questions that you must and no, okay. Now here, if I sketch now the cone, the cone will take this shape. It is a circular at the bottom, so we can see like this. Okay. Then we can still drop height from here. This is a cone, not too great. So this is what you normally call the base radius. This, let's say this V, this is A, and this is B, okay. Let's name it like that. It will let us come sure. So, sorry, this is A, not B. This is A, and this is 90 degree. Now, when you look at these two points, let's call this point also C. Now, when you look at phi C and VB, these are what you normally call the slant height, okay? You call them what? The slant height. This is not the true height. Just as that. This is otherwise the hypotenuse of triangle VAB, okay? Just understand that. So this is the hypotenuse, just understand. So now if you want to calculate now the surface area, this is the formula of getting surface area of a cone. SA is equal to by R squared plus by RL, where L is the slant height. The slant height, just understand that. Now the question here is, what were we given? We have this one, the radius what? The radius is 7 cm. We were also given the slant height. Okay, This is the one, 15 cm. So now there is no need of you looking for the true height. Yeah, just understand. We only use the true height for the volume. Just understand. But when it, when it comes to surface area, actually we are using the slant height for information, guys. It is very easy, by the way. Very, very easy. So I can start with using this information given. I can start now uh, calculating what? The surface, the total surface area of the core, okay? I can say SA is equal to SA is the abbreviation form of what surface area just and start by R square. By R square, not too great. Plus by R times L, which is 15 centimeters. It's a matter of knowing multiplication division. By 7, 1 by 7, 1. 22 times 7, as A is equal to. 22 times 7 is what? 154 centimeters squared. Plus, cancel this one. By 7, 1 by 7, 1. So this will give you how much? This will give you how much? 310. Yeah? 22 times 15 is also 310. Because 10 times 22 is 220. 22 times 5 is 110. So that will give me 310 centimeters squared. Make sure you confirm with the calculator. Yeah? 300 and, and uh, I mean 300 and that, sorry, 300 and 30 centimeters. Or you can still 
confirm with the calculator because you are, you are targeting this to get max. Yes, and understand? So you can still say 22 times what? 15 for confirmation. And that's, that's true. So total surface area, therefore, SA is equal to, you add them now. Uh, okay, say 300 plus 154. That will give me 484 centimeter to square. Yes, understand, guys? So the surface area of a cone is gotten as uh, by R squared plus by Rm. So this is when you have the slant height and the radius. There are some situations or scenarios where you may not be given what you normally call the slant height, okay? Then we look for it, okay? Let's see that. Because you'll be given the vertical height, which is uh, V, uh, V, O, uh, V, A, B, okay? You can also write this one. You can see like this, this one. Uh, this one is here. That's how a cone looks like. Because this will be the diameter. Yes, understand that. So that's how you're going to get the surface area of a cone, given the base radius and the slant height. Now let's see example two, where we don't have the, the slant height, okay? This is example two for your information, guys, okay? Now let me start this. So you're told the diagram below shows. You're told. The diagram below shows a solid cone of base radius, a solid cone of base radius of base radius five centimeter and and vertical height and vertical height 12 centimeter vertical height which is 12 centimeter full stop you have to find the slant height of a cone find the slant height of the cone and hence and hence calculate to one decimal place Calculate to one decimal plus calculate to one decimal plus the total surface area of the cone. The total surface area of the cone. You are told check by check by is equal to twelve of. So, yes, and stand up. So now this is the diagram. This is my cone for your information, guys. This is my cone. Okay. So the, let's say this is a, a V going to V. Okay. Let's say this is O, which is the center, and this is, uh, let's say, let me take B here. This is point going to B because it's going to help me. Now, when you look at this one, there's information given. This height, this one, is to a half centimeter, and the radius is what? Five centimeter. And the radius is what? Five centimeter. So now I will start to get the slant height, which is this one or this one, yeah? Just as that. Okay, if you complete this one, if you complete the diameter, this is uh, obviously okay, and this is what you normally call the radius, half of the diameter. OP or OA is what you normally call the radius of the of the bottom circle. Just answer that. Now I want to get the slant height, which is this one. Just answer VB or VA. Okay, so I can get now because I have this like kind of triangle. I have the height which is twelve and the base. So I can say, look here, I can say. VP square is equal to because I'm looking for the slant height, yes and sir. This is the instruction. You follow the instruction, yes and sir. It's equal to VO squared plus OP. This is V, yeah, yes and sir. OP squared. That means the height square plus the base square, yes and sir, of the triangle. So VP squared, therefore, is equal to 12 squared. It's equal to what? 12 squared plus 5 squared. So VP squared is equal to 144 plus 25. 
So VP squared is equal to 169. Then I have to introduce root because I want to get a VP, which is a slanted. Introducing root on both sides of the equation, look here. I will have VP is equal to 13 centimeters. You must know how to get the square root of 169, that's primary 1 by 3. In primary, we have two ways of getting the square root of a lambda. That's the first uh, answer because I was told find the slant height of the cone and hence I calculate one is more place the total surface area. I know that surface area is equal to by r squared plus by rl. Okay? By r squared plus by rl. Just take your time. So we're going to say, we're going to say, sa is equal to by r squared 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter plus by, let me write here, plus, say plus, by r, which is 5 centimeter, times l, which is 13, the only bottom. So now the question here is, can you get the total? So it's going to be 2, 2 times 25, okay, divided by 7. So the first one I get 78.57. 78.57 centimeter squared plus. So look at this one. I'll say uh, 2, 2 times 12 times 13. That would give me 14, 13 divided by 7. This is 204.29. 204.29 centimeter squared. Okay. 204.29. 204.29. So that will give me. Uh, I was told, remember, look here, follow the instruction here, mathematic. The last proof is very important. You are told, find the slant height of the cone and hence calculate to one decimal place the total surface area to one decimal place. So that will give me 282.9. SN, therefore, is equal to one decimal place, 282.9 centimeter squared. So that's our square centimeter. You can also say, 282.9 square centimeter, but it doesn't matter. So, why you are a great mathematician, you can say 282.9 centimeters because you're seeing from the math, but you are not writing there on the white board. Just understand that. So, this is how you're going to tell the surface area of, of a cone. Okay, sometimes they will tell you to find the slant height because it's a requirement in the calculation. Just understand that. So, now uh, let's see another, another example so that we understand better this thing. Let's see another example so that you understand better. I just understand. I'll repeat for you another example. One more example. This example one, where you're not going to look for the slant height, you're given the slant height. Here, you're lacking the slant height, uh, of which is part of the calculation. Yeah? Then you must give the slant height. Yes, understand. So now let's see example three. Let's see example three so that we don't suffer the unilateral exam. Yeah? Let's see our example three, guys. Let's see our example three. As I write this question, you can also be your eyes on to example 2 so that uh, you understand better this thing. Yeah? Okay, let me write this one. You have the diagram blue should represent. This is example. Example 3, just understand. You have told the diagram. The diagram below represents. The diagram below represents a solid cone. Represents a solid cone of base, a solid cone of uh, base diameter, of base diameter twenty four centimeter. And and Vertical height. That is the true height. Yes, understand. Vertical height. Nine centimeter. Okay. Full stop. You are told. Uh, this is the instruction now. Find the slant height of the cone. Find the slant height. The slant height of the cone. And hence, calculate the total surface area, SM is what surface area of the cone.
total surface area there of the cone uh, to the nearest to lambda to the nearest whole lambda then at all check by 22 out of 7 this is the instruction or oh, they are saying this time check by uh, 3.142 we are following the instruction just and start so let me draw for you the cone let me draw for you I hope you have digested this one let me draw for you the cone. Let me draw the cone now. Okay. Let me draw the cone, guys, for your information. Now, uh, this is the cone, okay? This is the cone. This one. This is the diameter. This is V, this is L, this is B, and this is obviously O. So they're saying the diameter is what 24. So the radius will be 12 centimeter and 12 centimeter. So this is the vertical height they are talking about, and it is 9 cm. Let me write it here. That's the vertical height. They are saying it's 9 cm. Now, now, we know that uh, for us to get the surface area of a cone, we must have the slant height. So let me get VB. I know that VP squared is equal to VO squared plus OP squared. So this is right angle to angle, yes and sir. VP squared, they have is equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. So VP squared they have is equal to 81 plus 144, which will give me what? So now VP squared they have is equal to 225. Then introduce root. Introduce root. Then VP from your calculator or from your point of calculation, you're going to get 15 centimeter. Okay? So that is what? That is a uh, the getting the slant height. But I know that, but inform them that SL is equal to by R squared plus by RN. So I'm going to say SL is equal to by R squared. But you have to take by as 3.14 by times R squared 12 centimeter times 12 centimeter. Just understand that. Plus by times R, which is 12, times L, which is 15, 15 centimeters. So let me get now, you see the calculator, 3.142 times uh, 144, that will give me, as L is equal to, you can see now, look here, you can see, as L is equal to, 452.45 plus get for me this one again 3.142 times uh, 12 times 15 565.56 centimeters square so add them now add them uh, plus 452.45 so that will give me to the nearest to lambda it is as a is equal to as a is equal to this is the answer 1018 centimeter square yes I said that so this is the final answer so this is how uh, the surface area of a cone is framed during national exam or any other exam guys for information by the way it is straight to the point very very easy by the way however uh, after we are done with the surface area I'll be teaching you the application part of total surface area sometimes 
these guys will bring a question which is actually somehow twisted then you must be in a position to solve it okay guys i always tell you that this is uh, an academic channel that will help you wherever you are uh, uh, and whoever you are by the way okay if you are in a school particularly if you are in high school okay you know that mathematics is one of the uh, subjects that is challenging students at school level but i'm trying my best to help you guys okay it's my willingness to help you guys okay make sure you subscribe and share with your family members and friends for information so that they enjoy at home level at home level learning mathematics i know mathematics is part of life otherwise i wish you the best